In this video, you will learn how to find primary sources using Dalhousie's Novanet catalog. There are several ways to search for primary sources in Novanet, which we will go over in this video. You will also learn where to find primary source databases and some strategies for internet searching. Novanet Method 1 – Using Primary Source Subject Headings Begin your search from the library's homepage at libraries.dal.ca. Under Search Library Resources, click on the magnifying glass in the search bar to bring up an empty results page. Then click Advanced Search near the search bar. In the first search line, change any field to LC Subject for Library of Congress subject headings. Then you can type either sources or the type of primary source you're looking for. So that could be correspondence, diary, or any other form. There are many kinds of primary sources, and for a list of examples, see the link in the video description. Please note that you do have to use the exact term that Library of Congress prescribes for the type of source that you want to look for. So it is important to click on that link in the description and see what is available. For this example, we will type sources in the subject field. On the second line, you can type the keywords for your topic and set the drop-down menu to any field or title. For this example, we will search for World War I. Novanet Method 2 – Searching by Type of Resource Another approach is to type the topic you're interested in into the search bar from libraries.dal.ca and then narrow your search along the left side of the page by type of resource. Click on Show More under Resource Type to bring up all possible resource types for your chosen topic. You may find things like legal documents, government documents, conference proceedings, and images, and these can all be primary sources. Novanet Method 3 – Searching by Date Range You can search by date range to find material published during the time period you are interested in. On the left side of the page, under Creation Date, you can refine the years from and the years to fields to limit your results. Since we're looking for primary sources from World War I, we'll set the creation date between the years 1914 and 1918 and click Refine. Please note that by limiting the creation date to the time period you're interested in, you do exclude collections of primary sources that were published outside of your selected date range. Many primary sources exist in published books, for example, collections of letters or diaries, or in online archives. You might have to have a closer look at some of the resources in order to see if they meet your needs. For example, from the Novanet catalog, we find one result called The Great War Seen from the Air in Flanders Fields, 1914 to 1918, which is a book of photographs taken from planes during the First World War. Using primary source databases. For some topics, you might be able to use specific library databases to find historical primary sources. You can do this by going to libraries.dal.ca, scrolling down to the quick links, and selecting databases A to Z. This will direct you to an alphabetical list of all the databases Dalhousie has access to. You can search for primary source databases on this list in a few different ways. First, you can click on the drop-down menu that says All Database Types and select Primary Sources. This will provide you with a list of databases where you can find primary source material. You can also search for Newspapers, which is one type of primary source, by selecting Newspapers from this same drop-down menu. Another way to find databases to access newspapers is to select the drop-down menu All Subjects and select Newspapers. You also have the option to get more narrow results by selecting a subject and a database type. For example, if we select Indigenous Studies as our subject and Primary Sources as our database type, we will soon be shown some databases specific to this search. Finding Archives Local and national archives websites can also help you reach primary sources. 
To locate these websites, you can type the name of the country, province, or city you're interested in, plus the word archives into a search engine like Google. For example, when you type Nova Scotia archives into the Google search bar and hit enter, the first result is the official website for the Nova Scotia archives. Entering keywords related to your topic, as well as other terms, such as primary sources, correspondence, or pamphlets into a search engine, can lead you to digitize primary sources or online guides created to help you find primary sources on that topic. For example, if you search French Revolution primary sources in a search engine, you can find compilations of primary sources and documents that have been digitized by institutions or other groups interested in that topic. A great example of an archival website that you can search is Archive Grid. This site helps users who are looking for primary source material held in archives, libraries, museums, and historical societies. To get there, select the link found in the description box below. In the search bar in the top right corner of the home page, you can enter your topic keywords, such as a specific person's name, an event, the type of source, such as diary, photographs, etc. Select the magnifying glass next, next to the search bar or click enter to view your results. For example, if we search French Revolution pamphlets, we'll find a list of primary source pamphlets from the French Revolution in our results page. Please note that Archive Grid points you toward the location of primary sources, but does not generally provide direct access to these sources. If you are interested in a primary source that is not digitized, it may be worth contacting the archive to see what your options are for accessing it. Thanks for watching. For research guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.